In this video, arsenic trioxide and its volatile trihydride are handled. They both are extremely toxic and can kill you, so working in a fumot is a must. This reaction, which is also called the Marsh test, is used to determine whether arsenic or antimony are present in a sample. For it, the sample, in our case, arsenic trioxide, a spatular of copper sulfide and a generous amount of one molar sulfuric acid are mixed and shaken. Shaking the mixture gives better results by dissolving the educts prior to the hydrogen formation. The test was developed by the chemist James Marsh and published in 1836. Back in the time, arsenic trioxide was a commonly used poison and prior to the Marsh test there was no way of detecting it. The fact that arsenic stays in corpses indefinitely made it very easy to determine whether people who have been dead for a long time were poisoned or died naturally. Now back to chemistry. To detect arsenic, we must bring it into its trihydride. Therefore, we add zinc granules to the mixture, which produce hydrogen with the sulfuric acid. In many older books, it is stated that this hydrogen is nascent, but newer findings have disproven this theory firmly. Once the hydrogen production has started, you have to wait some time to ensure that most of the oxygen in the test tube has been displaced. Otherwise, the mixture in your test tube is explosive and will blow up in your hands, spilling toxic liquid everywhere. When some time has passed, a band Pasteur pipette is put on top with a rubber stopper and the channel gas is lit at the tip of the pipette. The flame is then held against a cold surface to precipitate metallic arsenic as a dark smudge. It must be noted that antimony can also produce a metallic film in the same way. Because of this, a mixture of 35% hydrogen peroxide and 25% ammonium water is made. This part is quite important because it shows you what you got in your sample. If the metal rapidly dissolves, it is arsenic. But if it only dissolves after some heating, it is antimony. If you have a mixture of arsenic and antimony, the test should be done on a larger scale to ensure its results. Please ensure to dispose of the reaction mixture in the proper way.